A lot doesn't seem right with Kanye West and Bianca Sensori's relationship. Bianca's safety and wellness has been a worry for the public and her family and friends. They allege that she has changed a lot and has been difficult to get a hold of ever since she got with Kanye. Hi everyone, welcome to A-Lister's Hub, your source for all things celebrity and entertainment. Today, we're looking at the couple's abrupt marriage, the many bombshells regarding this relationship, Kanye constantly humiliating Bianca, and much more. When Bianca initially came to the scene, she was dubbed as a Kim Kardashian dupe. However, Bianca has her own identity. Born in Melbourne, Australia, she's predicted to be 28 years old as of 2023. She's a qualified architect and has had her own jewelry business called Nylons Jewelry. After graduation, she had a successful career as an architectural designer, model, and entrepreneur. One fateful day, Kanye West slid into her DMs requesting her to work for him. She agreed and became Yeezy's architectural designer. Less than two months after Kanye and Kim's divorce was finalized, the pair came out as married. It was reported that they had an unofficial, intimate wedding ceremony. It is now confirmed that they have a legally binding marriage. However, Kanye was actively trying to get back together with Kim before the divorce finalization, which makes Bianca look like a rebound. We can go as far as saying that Kanye won't ever get over Kim. Is that, are you sad that, that you're no longer together, that you're divorced? We'll always be together. Bianca has a striking resemblance to Kim, which makes her a great rebound. But the thing is, you don't go as far as marrying the rebound woman. So it looked as if Kanye was pursuing Bianca while simultaneously trying to fix his marriage to Kim. How does Bianca feel about being second best? In his song, Sensory Overload, which happens to be wordplay with Bianca's last name, Sensori, he said that the Bible says he can't have any more sex till marriage. This could explain the rushed marriage, according to some rumors. Back when he dated Julia Fox, apparently there was no sex life with Julia saying because there, like, wasn't any. It wasn't really about that. Perhaps that was because they weren't married. It is worth noting that Kanye has since stopped harassing Kim so Bianca may have been what he needed to move on. Also, money talks. Bianca had a bracelet called Gold Digger for sale in her old jewelry business. So if this seemingly odd arrangement is motivated by monetary gain, it wouldn't be a surprise. They are adults, and if that's the case, they both know what they're getting out of this arrangement. People made remarks about Bianca's striking resemblance to Kim and how she's been dressing in ways that suggest that she is trying to emulate her. Old pictures of Bianca came up, and she had a vibrant sense of fashion with a pop of color. As of late, that vibrancy has been reduced. Kanye is a fashion genius and is known for dressing his love interests, almost as if they are muses for his creative expression. He has done this with Kim and other women he's dated, supervised your wardrobe. In fact, part of it is he like had his assistants pick up all your stuff and then take yeah. it out and bring in new stuff. Yeah. Promise if he's styling Bianca, it explains the fashion resemblance to Kim because Kanye was the brains behind it. There are concerns that one's creativity and autonomy becomes compromised whenever someone consistently chooses what you have to wear. Kanye has been known to be strong-willed and quite pushy. Bianca's clothing has become increasingly weird for the general public to witness, according to some reports. However, it is important to acknowledge that when Kim wore these, it wasn't a problem. In addition to Kanye choosing the clothes that Bianca wears, it is alleged that she isn't allowed to speak or wear certain clothes. It's also alleged that he requires that she eats certain foods and also work out despite him not working out. He is trying to turn her into a radicalized version of Kim. They say that Bianca has no mind of her own anymore 
and that Kanye has convinced her that they are royalty. If they are royalty, why does it seem like Kanye is deliberately trying to humiliate Bianca? Some speculate that he could have a humiliation kink. Bianca doesn't always look confident or comfortable in the clothing choices that Kanye allegedly chooses for her. To some, she looks embarrassed. To add in more to the humiliation, the pair have been banned by a Venetian boat company from using their vessels. This comes after images of Kanye's backside exposed, spread all over the internet. In the pictures, you can see Bianca positioned between his legs. This caused them to be banned because of indecent exposure. They walked off unhinged as if they hadn't done anything weird. Police are still investigating this matter further. Friends and family say that Bianca has distanced herself from them. A source from a report in Clutch Points says, Bianca's friends are becoming concerned because their friendship with her hasn't been the same in quite some time. They say that Bianca has always been independent-minded as well as vocal. This is quite a contrast from her being told what to eat, where, and when to speak. A rare footage of Bianca speaking came out, which made users worry if that would tick Kanye off. I like your hair. Oh, you do? I literally yeah. just you dyed cut it again. Today? <laughs> no, I cut it like three weeks ago and then I just dyed what it What color is today. it? It's like white. But originally? No. Now it's white. But originally um, it was brown. Yeah, <laughs> you're sexy. My name is New. Thank you. Nice to meet you. You from oh, LA? You. Yes. Oh, okay, I just moved down here and shit. Yeah. Where are you from? Chicago. Nice. Yeah, and you got cool. good eye contact. <laughs> yeah. Are you just shopping around? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You? Uh, yeah, it's the same. I just took a pair of shorts and I went to see. Yeah, I get your number. I'm sorry. For real? Oh, damn. I'm sorry. That sucks. When you marry, you can't even have friends. I know. But I understand, though. I know. Sorry. It's nice to meet you, though. It's nice to meet you. <sighs> Have a good rest of your day. I gotta go use the bathroom. In this footage, you can tell that she's a bubbly person, and it would probably be nice to hear more of her if Kanye allows. Self-made internet psychologists have already diagnosed Kanye West of narcissism, citing controlling behavior, as well as isolating Bianca as the red flags. Kanye is not new to being called a narcissist. Say, hey babe, what you doing? Okay. Now, I was thinking about one thing. It's like, when I say these things to like pump myself up, you as my wife, when I'm pumping myself up, I would just love it if you were like, yes, babe, that's for, yeah, you the shit. Instead of when I like have to like stand up for myself, you'd be like, why do you sound like that? You're narcissistic. It's just like, that'd be that type of shit where it's like a Floyd Mayweather could never have that. You know what I mean? Like, and, and beat every, and be the champion of the world. Like, it's like, yay, yeah, he's mm -hmm. like, like, fucking pumping up, you know what I mean? That, like, yeah. putting down. No, I totally get it. Like, I used to work on it. Okay. Yeah. No, but I think it could be helpful. Like, how is that new medication, like, that other medication? So, I'll call you in a little bit. Okay, fine. Yeah, but marriage is... I feel like Kanye had a valid point in this clip. Despite the compelling reasons, let's be mindful not to loosely diagnose people. Kim Kardashian has been reportedly neutral in this situation, with a source saying, Kim is actually a firm believer in letting people be on their own journey and figure out life. She would never call someone and warn them. The source also goes on to say, Kim is watching the situation with Kanye and Bianca open-mouthed and she can't believe how reminiscent it is of how Kanye was with her. She says she can see Bianca being molded into Kanye's ideal of the perfect woman. She thinks it's worrying that Kanye did not learn his lesson and that he feels it's okay to treat people like this. Kim looks at Bianca and it spooks her as it's precisely what happened to her. The source continued. Kanye is extremely passionate about fashion, but it can become an obsession, with the X-rated outfits and the OTT looks becoming really tough to deal with. 
Kim has told friends that she feels as if she wants to take Bianca aside and advise her on how to keep true to herself and her own ideas for her self-image. The source concludes, in Kim's opinion, all the fame or exposure in the world isn't worth being someone else's puppet. She feels she owes it to Bianca to try to open her eyes and talk sense into her before it's too late. Bianca's loyalty and obedience is paying off because she went from being a Yeezy employee to heading Ye's businesses. She has recently been appointed as his power of attorney. She has special power of attorney, which means she only has decision-making power over a criterion. This is in preparation for his comeback. She's reported to be helping him with his new music and fashion. Northwest recently trended for preferring her dad's way of living over her mom's. North, she'll go to her dad. She'll be like, dad is the best. He has it all figured out. He doesn't have a nanny. He doesn't have a chef. He doesn't have security. He lives in an apartment and she'll start crying. Why don't you have an apartment? I can't believe we don't have an apartment. North is Kanye's child after all. Also, isn't it crazy how Kim casually reveals that Kanye doesn't have security? Because Kanye's life has always been so dramatic. Fans are glad to see him surrounded by true friends. Seeing North's remarks may serve as a testament that Kanye could be doing something right, especially concerning his romantic life choices with Bianca. If this dynamic brings him the peace that he needs to be the yay that the people want, then we can't judge it. We hope it all pans out well for Bianca and that she doesn't lose herself in the mix. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please let us know in the comments down below what you think. Like, share, and subscribe for more news like this. See you in the next video.